going on all my winners and today we bring you this beautiful 2022 Porsche 911 Turbo S. When you first see it, you're kind of in awe. I didn't think Porsches could get any better, but did you see this bad boy? Porsche makes beautiful cars. Now let's compare it to the convertible and let's compare it to the Targa top, which we had here a few months ago before we uh, finished the floors, as you guys can tell. What changes on both of them is that the Cabriolet, of course, has the drop top that comes back and makes the back look a little bulkier. I mean, they built it that way to hide the top, of course. It still has the wing. It's not the same wing, but it still looks groovy. It's a nice wing. But the Cabriolet and the Coupe looks pretty much the same, while the Targa has their classic roll bar in the rear. It's a hatchback, guys. Now, it is different from the older models because the older models, you had to manually get out hide the top and then get back into the car and all that stuff. The new Targa automatically does it for you. It lifts up the whole rear glass and hides the top for you guys and then the glass goes back, which is super cool. Pretty sure the aficionados and the purists I love that. The top on the Cabriolet goes straight back. There's nothing in between like the rollover bar on the Targa. Let's take a look at this graph and see the difference in between these three vehicles. As you can see, the 911 Turbo S and the Cabriolet are very similar. They're pretty much the same car. The only difference you're paying in price is the convertible mechanism. So we're not gonna talk about the Cabriolet. We're just gonna compare the 911 Turbo S with the Targa. As you can see, as far as horsepower goes, the 911 Turbo S has 200 more horsepower than the Targa, 177 to be exact. But the MSRP in between these two cars, that's where it gets a little interesting. The Turbo S is about 50 grand more. But when we get to the dealership markup price, that's where things get a little crazy. Because if you notice, the Turbo S and the Targa are about the same price. They're only off about 30 grand difference. But if you notice, the horsepower and the MSRP are way off. So that's when you know that this Targa really holds its value and really sells for more in the aftermarket. This is definitely a collector's item, solidifying itself amongst Porsche's flagship cars. That being said, would you want to go with style or power for a daily driver? Would you want the classic stylish Targa top even though it has 200 less horsepower? Or would you want a 911? Turbo S, which has 200 horsepower or more. It's way faster. It's still very cool and it's a beautiful car and everything, but it just doesn't have that classic Targa look. So which one would you like? Comment below. I'm gonna start by these headlights looking so amazing. They did a great job on the inside of this headlight and kept the original Porsche design on the outside, that oval look. But the interior, they just did so much to it. Very, very sporty, but super classy on the inside. Looks great. See that? A little aerodynamic going on. We have these beautiful rims. Look at this. Carbon ceramic drilled rotors with the huge yellow Porsche calipers. They're huge. It's got 20s on the front and 21s in the back. Beautiful carbon fiber mirror cap. This active air gill. Now that's aerodynamic. We all know that when the cars have holes in them on the sides, they go really fast. So they help keep the car down and cool down braking and air for the motor and all that stuff. So, you know, it's just got holes for it to breathe. Look at, look, look how cool that wing is. There's like two wings in one. Look at this. Look at these tail lights. Of course now, uh, the cars are making these taillights where they're like unibrowed. So they're connected from one side to the other. That's the new wave. The rear diffuser is beautiful, all gloss black. And dual mufflers, right? They're actually kind of quadish in there. Do you see it? You see it? Look, they're actually quads. But you know, they made it dual outside here with the, the cover on the outside. And, you know, more aerodynamic. Look at that. You stick your hand into these, these cars for the most part. Look at that. It's crazy. It's insane. There's even more aerodynamic to it. If you go up in here, there's just holes everywhere. Look at this. 
This car is getting 20% nano ceramic. It's getting 20% here, 20%, 20% all nano ceramic, equally on the other side, 20 nano ceramic. If you own a car like this, you will want the best too. Now, th this is the key fob. Usually, Porsche makes them like this, right? It's like the car, right? And we're gonna unlock this bad boy. Look what happens to the handle. We're gonna unlock it. Super cool, you lock it, it goes back. You unlock it, it'll, wow, wow. Nowadays, these cars just give you the handle. Just everything is so detailed. Hey, ah, man. Now we're inside this 2022 911, and it looks gorgeous. All the yellow stitching on it with the, the yellow seat belt. There's yellow trim on the dashboard, even yellow trim on the built-in clock, guys, just to match. Carbon fiber. Who we kidding? Carbon fiber, guys. This is, you know, carbon fiber. Look at that. We love carbon fiber around here. And uh, suede roof lining, right? Yeah, let's look at the back of this bag. The yellow seat belts with the yellow stitching. Look at these seats, guys. Very bucket to keep you in and comfortable at the same time. There's even yellow floor mats. A single cup holder, usually these cars don't have one. So for this car to have a cup holder, it's a big deal. Sports cars usually don't come with cup holders. Look at the center on this bad boy. There's yellow everywhere on this car, very sporty. Let's see how this dashboard lights up when we turn it on. That was all the info right there for you guys. Drive mode right here. Of course, you can go from slow or kind of slow to super de duper fast. Because this bad boy does say 225 on the dash. That's the interior of this bad boy. I think it looks very nice. The yellow stitching on the steering wheel as well. Right? Beautiful. Enough of the admiring. It's time for us to do our job. Don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss this. Just finishing up this uh, Porsche. Look at Dennis over there, finishing up that window over there, making it perfection. Look at it, we cover the doors. Of course you guys know that, but look at the edge is what I wanna show you guys. Look at that edge, look at that. It's beautiful guys, we do beautiful edging here. Dennis has been doing this for like over 16 years. Who we kidding? This was one of our other dinners. It's me of course, and uh, I just want to show you guys that just because it's one tinner or the other, the edging doesn't change, guys. It's the same edge right there, right up to the glass, right there to the edge of the glass. Look at this. Beautiful, guys. Thing looks amazing. 20% nano ceramic. Eventually, he's going to want to do his front windshield. It's the biggest glass on the car, lets in the most heat, the most light. And, uh, and what ends up happening is it, you guys get radiant heat, which is your glass gets hot, your dash gets hot, and then it radiates the heat towards the driver. You got a car like this, guys. You wanna protect your investment, you know? So you wanna isolate it and get the most out of the film. You would wanna do this front windshield. All right, guys, we just finished the Porsche 911. We put 20% all around, not including the front windshield, right? So this gentleman didn't want the front windshield, but he got 20 on the two doors, the corner windows, the two doors, the corner windows, and this back glass, right? He put 20% nano ceramic. Without further ado, let's look at it outside because of course, inside and outside, the car looks completely different. 
car looks completely different inside than outside. Let's open up the, the, the bay door and get this animal out of here. His shoes over there, AK 50. This handle just pop out for us. Let's get into this bad boy. Turn her on, the, you know, the turn on is over here. Put this bad boy in reverse. Boom. How beautiful is this? This car's gorgeous, guys. Wow. When I grow up, I want to drive a car just like this when I grow up. But for right now, we're just going to stay where we are. It's got the It's got the park button right here and the manual button right there. We're not about to paddle shift this bad boy in a parking spot, all right?